<clears throat> Hello and how are you? Good morning, everyone. Good morning, children of the Most High God. I believe and trust you well from wherever you are. Uh, after this Easter, this is the Easter Monday. Our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, our Redeemer has been resurrected. He is now seated in the right hand side of the Father. And we bless God's holy name for giving us a Savior and a Redeemer. My name is Teacher Luciana. Thank you and welcome to my channel. And kindly listen to what God is God wants to tell us this morning. Let's start with a word of prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come before you this morning, Lord, praising and honoring your beautiful, powerful, holy name, Father. Thank you for the gift of life, Lord. We take nothing for granted, O oh God. Thank you for the blessing of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for his blood that washes away our sins and gives us, promises us eternal life. Thank you, dear Lord God Almighty. Thank you, the Lamb of God, for agreeing to die on the cross on our behalf. We bless your holy name and we honor you, Lord Jesus. For it is in Jesus' mighty name we pray and give thanks. Hallelujah. Amen. Welcome to our today's devotion. We are going to learn about the image of God. Um, reading our reading will come from Genesis chapter 1 and verses 27. Kindly listen. I'm not going to take much of your time, but you're going to be blessed, I promise you. Uh, Genesis chapter 1 verses 27 says, So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female, created he them. That's the story of creation of man. From God, our Creator Himself. Now, male and female are the complement images of God. The means, this means both male and female were created to think, speak, act, and be like God. That is you and me, whether you're male, whether you're female. It is also means it also means that mankind was created as a spirit being to live in a human body. We are not the housing that we see. I know many people may be think that we are all that we see, the physical. No, no, no. The physical is just a tent. The real you is the spirit that God put in you when he created you. This is just a body, the tent that houses the spirit of God within us. When mankind fell <clears throat> from through sin in the Garden of Eden, the image of God in mankind was polluted. Mankind could no longer think, speak, act, and be like God. The Father sent Jesus Christ to die for mankind to redeem them from their fallen nature so that they can think, speak, act, and be like God. You are created to think, to speak, to act, and be like God because you are in his image. Mankind is the crown of God's creation. Indeed, we were given the responsibility to, to dominate, to watch over the earth, to occupy until Jesus comes. We have dominion, dominion here on earth as human beings, from God, God's authority. Mankind is the crown of God's creation intended to have dominion over all the God's creation. Dear beloved, do you know that you are the image of God? Do you know that you are the image of God? Your identity should be in Christ Jesus. Do you know that your role, do you know your role as the image of God? You should think and tell me about that in the comment section. I appreciate to hear your thoughts, whether you know that you are created in the image of God, whether you know your role as the image of God. That's our devotion for today. Be blessed. I love you. Teacher Luciana here. Bless you. Have a good day.